Hi, Mike Brantley, auctioneer. Previously, I've talked about why people attend auctions and the long-standing rule in my mind was four words, prospect of a deal. And before the internet and before companies got uh, generally a little more savvy in, in attracting customers in the door and clients in some cases in the door was that, um, well, I can give you my personal experience growing up. Um, we either went to the uh, tractor dealership, equipment dealer, hardware store to buy something new. There were malls, go to the mall and get something new or what? Go to an auction and maybe get a deal on something, maybe get a little discount. Now it might be a little dinged or a little used or worn or what have you, but uh, if we got a sufficient discount, we felt better about doing that. Uh, it wouldn't take us long to to uh, ding or mar or wear out something anyway, so might as well buy something used if it works. So I grew up in that environment. We basically had two choices. We had the choice to buy retail at the store, drive to the store and get it, or and or we could go to an auction and maybe get a deal on something. Well, with the internet, what, what kind of choices do people have today? Well, if I need something, I could go to a store, I could go to the mall, I could go to a hardware store, uh, but more likely for a lot of people, I just get online, I find the item, I hit click, I put it in my cart and I have it delivered or I go pick it up. And what else do I get with it? Well, you would be hard pressed to find a company today selling any kind of personal property that didn't offer some sort of uh, return policy, guarantee, warranty, exchange, change your mind, that's okay, we want you back, no problem, because they see the trees for the forest. See, I don't think there's rampant abuse of return policies. I, yeah, sure, there's, a, there's some, but I, I, companies deal with that because to compete, see, if, I, if, if there's two hardware stores and this hardware store says you buy it and you can't return it and you can't exchange it, and, and it's as is, and if there's a problem with the box or it doesn't work, you're out of luck. And this hardware store says, well, you can buy this tool and if it's not right or you don't like it or if it's damaged or if it's not what we thought it was or it's mislabeled, just bring it back and we'll exchange your money. I mean, there's no question. Most people are gonna shop at that other hardware store, right? You would have to admit, you would probably shop at that other hardware store. Well. The line keeps moving. And auctions, for a lot of auctioneers, the line hasn't moved in 25 years. That's it. As is, no warranties, no guarantees, nothing. You're not happy, that's not my problem. The rest of commerce around the United States, the line's moved and it's moved quite a bit over to what? More buyer, more consumer friendly. What I watch TV, I see ad after ad after ad. And what is the message? Easy way to buy. I can, I can buy insurance online. I make travel reservations on my phone. I can buy a car out of a vending machine and have it delivered and, and return it in seven days if I don't like it. I mean, Everybody else has moved the bar to friendlier, easier, more streamlined. We want you to do business with us. We're not going to make it harder. Tell me, a, tell me a company. Tell me somebody that's making it harder to buy from them. And there isn't anybody. Everything's easier now. Well, almost everything. Auctions, easier? Not necessarily. And while we're talking about it, you know, you could say, there are some that say, well, the live auction is stuck in the 1950s, but our online auctions, well, that's 2020, that's state of the art, that's, uh, th those, those are uh, meeting the needs of the consumer. No, they're not, not necessarily, because your online auction ends when? 
and my granddaughter wants it now. Your online auction doesn't end for four or five days. She's not going to, she ain't going to put up with that. Four or five days. I want it now. She can go somewhere else, pay a little more, get a warranty, guarantee, change, what have you, by hitting click in my cart, pay. It's, to, it's sitting on my front porch, possibly within hours of hitting click, I want it. Some auction platforms are um, working towards a uh, buy it now function. You know, you've got an item, they generally sell between say 30 and 50 and you put a starting bid of a dollar and a buy it now of 75. If somebody really wants it, they can buy it. They can click the buy it now at 75. Otherwise, um, we're going to let it ride. I think that's pretty savvy. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's going to help get people engaged in the auction business because the auction business is going to be similar to everything else they're exposed to. I don't think we can continue to be an outlier. So our topic here, I've talked about a lot of things, um, really can auctions have uh, warranties, guarantees, exchange policies, they can, you can have it with, you sit down with your seller, having the contract, we're gonna offer guarantees, we're gonna offer warranties, I'm gonna, they're gonna hold me to my marketing or advertising, and if they change their mind within an hour, within a day, within three days, whatever, they can return. Now you might think, well, that's just, I couldn't possibly do that. Well, yeah, you can do that. And everybody else is doing that. Every other business is doing that. But you're going to stay where you are. If you're getting enough bidders, if you're getting a good price, stay there. If it's not broken, don't fix it. But for a lot of auctioneers, they're telling me, well, the young, we don't have any, the younger generation showing up at our auction. Well, they're not showing up at your auction because you don't have any guarantees, warranties, or exchange policies. And I have to wait five days for your auction to start or end or whatever. It's not younger generation friendly, quite frankly. Mike Brantley Auctioneer, pleasure to be with you today. Other videos on the same page, others forthcoming. Have a great day and stay safe.